This week in the Missouri Senate, we review some of the highlights from another President, busy I week. The Senate Bill number 850 with Senate Committee 7. Monday afternoon and evening were dedicated to Senate Bill 850. Sponsor, Senator Jason Bean of Holcomb, says this measure seeks to modify provisions relating to criminal laws. We owe it to these professionals to ensure that they have proper tools to prevent a violent repeat offenders from preying on our communities. During discussion on the floor of the Missouri Senate, Senator Carla May of St. Louis says she has concerns with proposed minimum prison sentences for armed criminal action charges. This is not about putting violent offenders away. This is about saying that what kind of weapon? My understanding of armed criminal action is something other than the use of a deadly weapon. Senate Bill 850 has been set aside for future Dead. talks. Senate Bill number 726. Tuesday afternoon and evening saw time spent on Senate Bill 726, legislation that would establish the Hypoplastic Left Heart Syndrome Awareness Day in Missouri. Among the amendments to this measure is one from Senator Holly Thompson Rader of Scott City. Her proposal mirrors Senate Bill 690, which would modify provisions of law relating to certain distributors of hypodermic needles. People who use these programs, there's a 20% decrease in the spread of HIV and Hep C. During discussion, Senator Greg Razor of Kansas City says he believes this amendment would create necessary public policy. Having access to clean needles can reduce the spread of these diseases, which first and foremost is good. Senate Bill 726 has been laid over Senator for further from consideration. Cole County for a privilege motion. Wednesday evening, Senator Mike Barnsgetter of Jefferson City gave his intentions for the future of House Bill 2117, which contains the latest version of the proposed congressional map for the next 10 years. And ask the House take up and pass Senate substitute number two for House Committee substitute for House Bill 2117 as amended. Earlier this week, the Missouri House of Representatives voted to reject the Missouri Senate version of congressional redistricting. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Kansas City says he agrees with the Senate position. I am on board with sending this back. We've worked pretty gosh darn hard to get to where we're at. I believe that we should probably stand firm on where we're at. Protecting victims of rape and sexual assault. The underlying bill is what stands out as the important piece of legislation. Senator Tony Luke DeMeyer of Parkville says Senate Bills 775, 751, and 640 started as three separate measures, all of which came through his Missouri Senate Judiciary and Civil and Criminal Jurisprudence Committee. But that was challenged in the Missouri Supreme Court, and for technical reasons, portions of that legislation were declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court last week. Senator Jill Shoup of Creve Coeur co-sponsors this proposal. She says some people had issues with an amendment that was added to the bill. The amendment that made it so bad was amended to be less effective, as far as I'm concerned. Senate Bills 775, 751, and 640 now heads to the Missouri House of Representatives for Senate similar consideration. Adjourned until Monday, April 4th at 4 p.m. The final six weeks of session will start on Monday. That motion and remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.